when you think about the next year or next two years or three years, how do you think about the landscape for Bitcoin in the future? Yeah, it's a great question because, uh, you know, you have people every day kind of jumping and giving predictions. So, so I'm looking at the trends and I'm looking at the underlying uh, kind of like, is the base uh, expanding or are we seeing just volatility, right? And I can tell you that both from the Celsius experience as well, well from the community experience, we're seeing the base expanding. We're seeing uh, the people, the hodlers at least are, are the base of, of Celsius uh, add more assets. And uh, look, if you take 11 year perspective, uh, Bitcoin is up 9 million percent, better than any stock, any bond, uh, bef even before this collapse, right? 2,000 times better than the champion of the stock market, which is Netflix, which I think is up 4,000 percent in a decade. So also you have to see also correlated to the fiat that we're using, right? So if you, if you drew a chart of Bitcoin versus dollar, uh, the dollar is the one that lost 99.9% .9 of its value. The Bitcoin is still one Bitcoin. So the question is really how you ask yourself that question. So I think that trend will continue. So I, I don't see, with us printing trillions of dollars, I just don't see how the value of the dollar will strengthen. It has strengthened in the last few, few weeks because of this uncertainty and people rushing into dollars. But long term, uh, gravity still applies and the assets that are getting diluted every day with this invisible inflation of us printing trillions of dollars are going to decrease in value in relationship to things like Bitcoin. So I do see, especially with the happening and other events that are coming, I do see new highs into the next year or two uh, just because there's less supply and more demand. It's a very simple math.